Welcome to the Today in History channel, in today's video we will talk about the day. December 16, 1773. Boston Tea Party, 1773. On December 16, 1773, members of the Sons of Liberty Association boarded several British boats in Boston Harbor and destroyed their shipment of tea, advancing another step in the United States of America's War of Independence. Tea was an important export item to the British Empire, that is why, in the beginning of 1770, American patriots had even called it the drink of the traders. Not wanting to contribute to British profits through taxes, patriots only bought contraband tea. At that time, the East India Company, which traded with tea, and was an important tool of British colonial expansion, was on the verge of going bankrupt. The English government responded by freeing the company from customs duties on tea transported to American colonies. This move made imported English tea cheaper than smuggled tea, clearly favoring British traders. The move followed other acts the Seal Act and the Townsend Acts created to raise money among the settlers. The acts were met with protests and served to further remove North America from England. The Tea Law of 1773 was the last straw and raised American spirits on the issue of taxes. Three British ships Dartmouth, Eleanor and Beaver arrived in Boston Harbor with a shipment of tea in November 1773. The settlers did not allow them to unload, and the Children of Liberty, a secret revolutionary organization led by Samuel Adams in Boston, decided to act. On the afternoon of December 16, members of the organization dressed as Mohawk Indians boarded the boats. While shouting the Mohawks have arrived, and tonight, Boston Harbor is a kettle, the Patriots opened the tea boxes with tomahawk axes and dropped 16 tons of tea from the boats. News of the Boston Tea Party soon spread, and other cities began destroying East India Company tea or preventing its importation by other means. In England, King George III and Parliament became uncomfortable with the Tea Party and the most uncompromising members of the English government, looking for reasons to treat the colony with an iron fist, found their excuse. Boston Harbor was closed immediately and Benjamin Franklin Massachusetts' representative to the government was attacked by Parliament. In 1774, England issued a series of acts the Intolerable Acts, or laws, in response to the Tea Party. Four of the five acts were created especially to punish Massachusetts. The hostility created led England and the colonies to war. In April 1775, the Battles of Lexington and Concord marked the beginning of the War of Independence. If you like the video of a force subscribing to the channel, like, comment and share. To receive new videos, see you next time.